Greetings, gigantic fans, and welcome to the Hero Overview for Ezrin Gall. A necromancer who spent many lifetimes gathering the knowledge and the souls that sustain him. So it begins... again. Death comes to us all. Ezrin Gall will just bring it to you a little sooner. Don't pretend you can match me. Soul Caliber. Ezrin Gall's basic attack. You are just a husk. Tear the soul from your target, dealing damage and granting health. You can store up to three souls at a time. This can be upgraded to Unholy Communion. Ashes to ashes. To also steal the souls of enemies near your target. Or Soul Survivor. You are now hollow. Increasing the amount of health restored with each soul. Hardly worth my time. Ezrin Gall's Soul Fire. Consumes a soul to fire a projectile that deals heavy damage. Ugh. Taking Growing Dread increases the damage of each successful soul fire when cast in succession. While Salty Earth causes an explosion when impacting with an enemy or an environment, dealing damage to nearby opponents. Suffer! Ezrin Gall's Spectral Form. Your power is meaningless. Provides damage reduction, deals damage to enemies around you, and allows you to pass through friend and foe. Upgrading to Spectral Haste increases your movement speed while in Spectral Form. You cannot touch me. Or Grave Danger. Heals you each time Spectral Form damages an enemy. I am Death's Whisper. Ezrin Gall's Well of Souls. Peer into the abyss. Target an area, dealing damage and immobilizing enemies. It is done. Taking Unholy Ground increases the duration of the immobilize. Consume. While Soul Burst grants health and souls for each enemy hit. You must be better. Finally, Soul Blast, Ezrin Gall's focus skill. I will drain you dry. Steals health and souls from enemies nearby. After two seconds, release a final blast that deals heavy damage to enemies around you. No hope for you. These clips come from Death Crusader GW. The enemy is pressuring our D-point, but we win the fight and it's time to clean up the stragglers. The rival Rutger uses Burrow to restore a great deal of shield, but we move in to stop his escape. The healing from Soul Calibur provides enough sustain to survive his onslaught as our teammates rotate in and we pick up the kill. Wu is out for vengeance, but Spectral Form allows for an easy escape. Close to victory, we have presence at E-point, and the enemy doesn't want to give up the power. The opposing Ramsey gets on our coattails, but we Spectral Form out to safety. Re-engaging, we see the enemy Rutger out of position. A few Soul Calibers into a Soul Fire takes him out, giving us 100 power for the final Rampage. Some quick basic attacks finishes off the Mozu and helps keep us healthy for the final fight. Spotting a low-health Charnock amongst the trees, using Spectral Form with the Spectral Haste upgrade closes the gap, dodging the fiery focus, dealing enough damage to pick up the triple kill and win the game.